Okay, so we're back. We're working with the bouncy house, and what we're trying to do is get to click on here and get some speeds. We have the position of the um, where you click. Uh, we picked a random color and we push that on there too, which is really good. And then all you have to do is set up some DX and DY speeds, and we have um, arrays that we set up to hold these things. So we're going to use those arrays right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go like that. We'll be not ball color. Um, it's uh, it's just ball DX. I can retype it. So we're going to come down here, and we're going to say ball DX. That's good. And that's going to equal. Um, it's going to, we're actually just push it. So we're going to make a push here. Um, and then we're going to make another one for ball. Um, and actually do DX first. X and ball D Y. Okay, and that's good. Okay, and then what we got to do here is pick like some kind of speed for these things. Okay, and um, basically what we're gonna do is before we do this, we're gonna make a variable. We're gonna make a variable for like a random. Like dx, and that's going to equal something, and we're going to make a var ran dy, and that's going to equal something. And what basically we're going to do is we're going to use this. Okay, so we're going to use math floor. Um, and we're going to use math floor again. And then inside here, we're going to do something like this, and the um, thing we want is it to be able to go positive or negative. So we need a, a like a, a number that's going to be um, uh, somewhere between like uh, we're going to try to pick a uh, we're going to say something like a random number between um, I don't know like negative five and five something like that. Okay, um, and so it's sort of up to you what you pick. But basically what we could do is just do this. We can say um, the distance between negative 5 and 5 is 10. So we're going to go like this. We're going to say math.random uh, times 10. Okay, and that's fine. And we'll do it again down here. So they have equal chance of being, you know, like positive or negative speed, okay? Um, and that's good. And then what we'll do is we'll add some parentheses here on this. Uh, what happened here? Okay, like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to subtract uh, 5 from it. Like that. Okay, and that will give you um, like a distance between. So if it's if it, if the random number comes back like zero, it'll be like negative five, or actually it'll become like yeah, it'll be negative five. Um, but if it's like five, it might come back zero, and the same thing here. But if it's six, it'll come back like one. So so that'll work pretty well. Um, but we're gonna have like a little bit of a check to make sure that they are always sort of moving because if you do it this way. There is some possibility that both of them will come back zero and you have like a sort of a dead dot. So we'll go like this for this, okay? So we'll say, um, we'll always go like, uh, this is like a check. And you can make this more sophisticated, but we'll go like this. We'll say like if um, ran dx um, equals equals um, equals, because he does that, um, zero, um, then, um, then uh, ran dx is going to equal 1. And if you want to get really smart, you could have it like alternate or something like that. Um, and we're going to go like this, and we'll say if okay, uh, if uh, ran dy equals 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 0, then we'll have it be uh, ran dy is going to equal one. Okay, so this is just like no matter what they they move. Okay, so so this is how we can do this. We can make this smarter, but for right now it's fine. Um, make them move 
no matter what. Okay, that's what's happening there. Okay, and then once we figure out this this number, okay, all we do is we push it. Okay, so we've we've generated it. And here's another thing you can do actually with JavaScript too is if you if you only have a one statement if then, you can actually write them like this. And this might make it look easier, make it easier to understand. Um, go like this. Let me take out this. Just be careful when you're making changes like this, because I think people type the first thing and then they don't change it. But this this is a way to do this, and it sort of makes it easier. And you can do this if there's only one if you know statement in the if then. Okay, so that's fine. And what we're going to do is going to push um, rand um, dx, and we're going to push ran dy and then voila there it is they're on the um this will add everything you need for for one of the one of the dots okay so it adds an xy gets a color and it gets some speeds which is awesome okay so that's good now we got to get it to kind of work and basically all these things work through the mouse click listener so when you click it we got the mouse position that's cool. And what we need to do now is run the XY coordinates that we found through this. So it gets done. So these guys have to get sent. Um, the mouse position XYs have to get sent to add click. Okay. So we have to do this. Okay. So we're going to go like this. And basically, we have a little bit of a problem in that we say that there's a number of balls that you can have. Right. See this? like the max number of balls right there right um, and so like if if the current number of balls we have to have like the current number right balls made I think is what it's called where is it um, uh, reset house if I go to reset house see if balls made equals zero that's good okay so what we have to look at is we have to we we're only gonna make a ball okay if you can still make balls so if you have like 10 balls made and you can only make 10, then you can't make any more balls, okay? But if you have five balls made and you make one more, then you have six and that's okay, okay? So what we need to do is do like a quick check right here to make sure that that's gonna work, okay? So we're gonna say if something, okay, then we're gonna allow this to happen, okay? And what we're gonna say if balls made, is less than um, I think it's called max max number of balls okay then we're gonna allow the click to happen oops sorry um, we're gonna allow the click to happen so we're gonna say add click so this is a call to a function right and I'm gonna send it mouse position dot X Okay, and this is a cool thing you can do with JavaScript. See, I, I sent back two numbers in this mouse position sort of object, and I'm going to say mouse position dot y like that. Okay, and then what we're going to do is I'm going to make balls made go up one. Okay, so I'm going to say balls made um, plus equals one. Okay, or you could say plus plus. I think too. You can go like this. You can say dots added or whatever, or balls made or whatever we got. Like plus plus, something like that too. Okay, we'll go say like plus equals one. Okay, so that seems fine. And then um, what we're going to do next is we have to kind of redraw this, right? So um, what we would like to do is like kind of check out what we're going to do. We're going we're gonna to actually start like drawing them um, kind of next, but we want to make sure this works. So I'm going to console log here. Uh, I'm going to go like this. I'm going to make a string here, like a message. Okay. Um, and I'm going to go like this. It's going to equal um, ball at. Okay. And we're going to um, check out these things that we just made. So we're going to say ball at. And then I want to um, do, um, I want to check all these arrays. Okay. So all these arrays are going to be at X coordinate list. Okay. I'm going to say X coordinate list. Um, 
and then I have to access it like this. Uh, what do I have to do? I have to say x coordinate. Length uh, minus one. Okay, I'll try that. Okay, that looks good. And then I want to put in a comma. And I'll say this. Okay, like that. Okay, right, like that. That seems good, right? And then I want to say plus, um, let's see, um, color is, try that, and then we'll say plus, um, where is that thing? It's the ball color array. So we'll go like this and say ball color of, oh, uh, we'll say y coordinate was here too. And then we'll say all color um, dot length minus one. Okay. And then we'll get the speeds. Okay. We'll add like a little colors like that. Plus, uh, I'd like to put the little spacer here too. That. Uh, I guess I could do that here. We'll say um, x speed. Say so x like this because it's getting long. Plus um, ball dx of ball dx dot length. Minus one and go like this and add that. Add that. You know there's gonna be an error here. Um and we'll say put um dy um so like this. We'll say ball dy. So this is going to test to make sure everything's in the array the right way, or in these arrays. We're running kind of multiple arrays. Okay. And that is that message. Okay. That's a big message, kids. Um, and then we're going to console log the message. Okay. And because I'm so not confident about this, I'm going to turn this off and test it myself and I'll come back and tell you if there's any problems. Hang on. Okay. So right now I do have an error at um, script 105. I said ball made instead of balls made. So I'm going to go correct that. So my error is like here. Okay. Um, let me see what's going on. We'll run it again. Okay. I'll pull up the developer tools because we love them. And let me click. There we go. So there's a ball at here and like 54. I don't know if we love that, but we'll love it for right now. Um, ball is, color is 13. Oh, it's the number of the color. Okay, so we have to print that out. And then the, the speed's actually supposed to go negative, so it would actually go up. Let me click again. That looks good. Let me click again. Okay. Let me do that. You can see that the, that the number is getting smaller. We're checking the corners. Okay, so that's good. These look like right, like corners. Seem, <laughs> I'm down where the, the movie gets made. Okay, and that's fine. Okay, so that actually looks pretty good. Um, if you want to check the colors, let's try to fix that. Okay, so um, let me see. Quick change to get the actual color to show up. Like, see, this is aqua and red and cadet blue and chartreuse. And let me show you quickly how to make that because I'm running out of time. Um, basically what I did was we had, um, this to look like this. Okay. And what that did was it gave you like the number of the color in the color list array, but what you have to do is actually call this up. So you say color list of this and that, and that will give you the color. Okay. 
Sorry, I only got a couple more seconds, but you can see how the colors show up either as like a hex number or like the actual color. Wait.